In this video, we're going to see the outbound process in warehouse management. So topics we're going to cover, they are the outbound process in a SAP WM system. So what is an outbound process? So again, before we learn about this, uh, uh, we need to remember the interim storage type. So as we discussed in the previous videos that uh, when you move a stock from a storage bin or when you place a stock uh, after the MIGO transaction. So in that case, after MIGO, it will arrive in the interim storage type 902. But when you remove the stock, for example, for an outbound delivery, um, then it will first arrive in the storage type 916, which is the goods issue area. So just keep in mind that what is the interim storage type before we move further. So the typical process in SAP WM is first we have a say, sales order or can be an STO. So we can create our sales order using VA01. And then the next step is outbound delivery, which we, we can create using VL01N. So for just for our exercise, we'll see check the stock first um, after creating the delivery or, or after creating the order. And then we can check the stock using MMBE or LS26. And then we create a transfer order for our outbound delivery, which we can use LB10. And next, you, we can see that the stock will be placed in the 916 storage type, which is the interim storage type. So then we confirm the transfer order using LT12. And as soon as you can confirm, the, then you can post the goods issue and you can con confirm the stock again. So you can see here the blue uh, uh, colors, they, they are basically the SD processes and WM is the red ones. So let's have a look. So I already created this uh, sales order for you for this exercise uh, for a material called material 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver it. So you can use VL01N or you can directly go to this menu path Click on, click on delivery and now you can make sure you go to the picking tab here go to the picking tab here we need to enter the storage location now as we discussed in the previous video when we enter the storage location and if the storage location is WM activated that then system will automatically start the next processes as the WM processes so let's have a look so as soon as I enter storage location, which is we're using is GS02, press enter. System will now think that this is a WM process. Also, you can see here the WM overall WM status, which is A, which is WM transfer order required. So A means if I open this search box, so A, A means not yet pro processed. So once everything is processed, it will be complete, completing the process. So now done now i'm going to you can either save it or come back or you can directly create the transfer order from here or you can use other transaction like lb10 so if i save it i can i can save it or i can straight away jump to the create transfer order on the top so if i go to create transfer order system will ask me if i want to save this i will say yes taking a while also in parallel what we're going to do is we're going to check the stock so that's the screen for creating the transfer order but before that we will see the stock MMBE so just for this material and the plant now you can see at the moment we got 180 stock for both plant level and WM level so if I go to environment go to WM stock just to make sure we can see that the stock is synced with WM and, and MM. So I can minimize this. So here we have the create transfer order screen and I can press enter. 
system will remember the delivery document number so leave it like that press enter and now we'll, we'll now you can see what we're going to do again we have the similar option like we have seen in the previous video so you can stock removal in the background or stock removal in the foreground so if i go to the stock removal in the foreground so system will you can see is we got the sewing unit type as E1 and it's automatically saying that I'm going to pick up the stock from this storage this destination so from this this is a destination this is the storage bin and this is the storage type 001 and this is the storage section and the destination is going to put is 916 as I discussed previously that 916 is, is the interim storage type so first it will put, put in the interim storage type and storage bin will be this which is in standard asset we will, will be using the delivery document number so once we are okay then press enter again and it will come back to the previous screen so here you can again see the same thing 20 pieces of stock will be removed from this storage type this storage section and that's the storage bin so just save it so as soon as I save it then we'll check the stock done so let me open the stock screen and I will refresh this screen so if I refresh now you can see the stock is now shown as 20 with under the stock for put away which is 20 pieces for the sales order and the storage type here is 916 which is the uh, interim storage type so so also you can see the pick quantity here for the uh, uh, for the high rack storage type which is 001 is 20 so 20 here and 20 here and after we confirm the order system will sync the stock so let's have a look so transfer order is created and now I can open LT12 so you can see at the bottom TO number is 23 and now if I open LT12 or you can use the menu path as well if you want we'll discuss in detail about menu path in the other videos later on and open this and it looks all good and just click on save if I save this now again I'm going to check the stock so if I refresh this screen now you can notice the stock arrived in the uh, the stock arrived in the 916 so removed from the 001 storage type and arrived in the 916 now after I do the PGI system will then re remove 916 and then adjust the stock accordingly so if I open my delivery document click on PGI done now I will refresh the stock again now you can see now all the stock is seen so 20 pieces of stock is now gone out of the warehouse and 160 is left out of 180 so 180 was total before again if I refresh this screen as well you can see 180 left sorry 160 left 160 so again you can select this go to WM stock and you can see the stock is synced so that's how the outbound process works in a WM environment so that's our one process so just a recap what we learned today is the outbound process in a SAP WM system so thank you very much to watch this video so we'll discuss the next topic in the next video thank you